Hey everyone, Sephira Shea here and today I will show you how I make stickers at home with my Silhouette Cameo 4 cutting machine. So last summer I actually got this machine because I just wanted to do something creative and I was always interested in making my own stickers. After long research I bought the Silhouette Cameo 4 cutting machine and so far it has worked well but it's still a personal preference which one you want. But anyways, today I felt inspired to make a galaxy colored magpie sticker and I decided to show you how I make them. So I started with just sketching the design that I want in my sketchbook and I also added the coloring a little bit, just roughly. So I just had a good idea, an example of what I want for my sticker. After the sketch was done, I just took a picture with my iPad and used that drawing as a reference for the actual sticker. And here's the process of the digital drawing I did in Procreate. So in Procreate I'm outlining the drawing and make sure that it has a nice thick and clear outline because you gotta remember this will be a sticker and people will be sticking this sticker on things or they keep it as a collection but you gotta make sure it has enough contrast. And for the coloring I use a mix of brushes to give it a soft vibe and blend the colors together and of course I got inspiration from the reference drawing I made in my sketchbook and I really went for the galaxy pattern and tried to replicate that as good as possible. And I also added some white highlights and details such as little stars and moons in the drawing. I saved the drawing as a PSD so I could import it in Photoshop for a final checkup on my computer. I saved it as a PNG and now it's time to launch the cutting software. So I have the Silhouette Cameo 4 as I said before and I also really like the software because it's very easy and there are many options you can use and try and overall for me I just really like the software and it's completely free and you can also use it offline which was one of the benefits for me as well. Anyways, I import the magpie and scale it down and add a shadow kind of border which will be the cutting line for the machine. I copied the magpie and made sure to use the printing area as good as possible. You kind of play with this a little bit and make sure you get the most out of your sticker sheet. When you're happy, you can now move on to printing your sticker sheet within the software of your cutting machine so the registration marks are on the sheet as well. I use glossy sticker paper for this and I print the stickers and put them onto the cutting mat and this takes some time because the more precise the better and if it's not aligned well the machine will cut wrongly so it's very important that your sticker sheet is aligned perfectly on the cutting mat and it's also actually a little bit sticky so your, your paper will stick to the mat as well. So after that I will launch the machine. I will insert the mat into the machine and will move on to the software. There I will adjust the settings to my liking and I will make sure that the machine will cut the outline. The red line is the line which will be cut by the machine and I also make sure the right tool is selected and that it will cut deep enough so that I will have individual stickers and I will click on send and the machine will start cutting the stickers. Believe me, it will go wrong a couple of times because yeah, these machines are very sensitive and also for light. So I actually cut them in the dark because the registration marks are easier to read when the lights are off. <laughs> However, for the sake of this video, I turned on the light and it actually went all right, but not always. So yeah, so now we move on to the satisfying part and that's peeling the stickers. I love when you lift the paper and all the stickers lay on the mat. I mean, uh, doesn't it look satisfying? I could do this all day. I think this is actually one of the most fun things of making stickers. Um, and next we got to remove the stickers from the mat. I also use this handy tool from Silhouette. This way the stickers won't bend and they stay nice and flat and you can just easily lift them off the mat and that's also 
such a fun thing to do. And yeah, that's basically it. Here we got the stickers. So today we created this cute Galaxy Magpie stickers and hopefully they will be available in my Etsy shop, but I still gotta work on that, but keep your eyes out. And I will, of course, um, notify you when the shop is open, but I've been taking it easy and I'm just doing it in my own pace. But the shop is gonna be there and that's a promise. And it's also a goal for 2022. Anyways, I really hope you like to see the process of how I make stickers at home and it's all with love and by hand and it's a lot of fun to do as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!